Hey, this is uh, Will Martin, and I just wanted to show you uh, what I'm planning to use for the battery pack for the tilting three-wheeled electric car. Um, so this is just a quick visualization of what the battery pack would look like. Um, I'm planning to use uh, 60 batteries in total. Each battery is 90 amp hours. Um, I'm looking at the Thundersky uh, 90 amp hour batteries. Um, so it would be two parallel sets of 30 batteries in series. And I'll sort of show you my, uh, my calculations of how I came up with that. Um, but before I do, I just want to show you this model to, to show how I plan to sort of set up the battery pack. Um, the ideal position of the battery pack should be as close to the center of mass of the car as possible and as low as possible uh, to give you a better yaw puller moment of inertia. Um, better, uh, you know, roll capabilities of the car, um, less mass uh, weight transfer, and it should just make the car handle better, uh, having that huge amount of weight uh, lower and centered in the car. Um, so here I'll show you my, uh, my calculations here. Um, these are, uh, this is just an Excel spreadsheet I put together. Uh, the green cells are the inputs, the, the Blue cells are calculations and formulas. Um, so the tire is is a uh, Michelin Power Pure. The battery is is this Thundersky 90 amp hour battery, uh, which is 3.2 nominal volts uh, and 90 uh, amp hours uh, of power. Um, it can give short bursts of 1,800 amps, which is pretty crazy. Um, but the continuous discharge recommended uh, so you don't damage the battery is is uh, 45 amps. Um, the motor I'm looking at using is a sealed motor, it's the DLC2. Um, it can take up to a peak amperage of 660 amps uh, into the motor. Um, and with this initial uh, car, I'm looking at just doing one motor, uh, but in the future, it may be possible to do all wheel drive and do three motors, uh, which would basically give you uh, three times the uh, maximum. Uh, peak horsepower of the vehicle. Um, so here are a whole bunch of uh, formulas, a whole bunch of formulas and mathematics and such, and here we go. So these are the various options. Um, this is how many batteries you want in series, this is how many how many batteries you want in parallel, or how many sets of, of series are in parallel. Um, and so what I'm looking at doing is this one right here, which is two sets in parallel of 30 batteries in series, which would be a 17.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, assuming that the driver and the chassis and everything else, excluding the battery pack, weighs 500 pounds, this would mean that the entire vehicle weight would be uh, just under 900 pounds. Uh, the continuous horsepower at the wheel, this is uh, using the optimal uh, drain uh, amperage of the battery would be uh, just six horsepower, but that's enough to uh, to keep you going at a, at a reasonable speed, as I'll show you. Um, continuous motor torque would be uh, seven foot pounds. Uh, cruising speed on level ground using that continuous horsepower and some uh, drag assumptions that I have in here and, and frontal area assumptions would be 42 miles per hour. Uh, the peak motor torque would be 51 foot-pounds. The peak horsepower to the wheels would be 44 uh, horsepower. This is to the wheels after uh, you take out the drag and everything and the inefficiency of the chain and so forth. Uh, so with that peak horsepower, um, this model shows a top speed on level ground of 81 miles per hour. And then with the amount of kilowatt hours on board, uh, and uh, you know, continue at, at a continuous uh, drain or continuous horsepower at that, I believe it was 42 miles an hour, your range would be uh, 119 miles. Uh, and then I looked at what is the steepest hill in San Francisco and how quickly could this car drive up it, and it's just over half a mile an hour. Um, meaning it could uh, it could get itself up this the steepest hill in, in San Francisco which is one of the steepest hills in the world 
Um, and then the power to weight ratio on this vehicle would be just under 100 horsepower per ton. I believe that's short tons. And then zero to 60 estimate, this is using a regression analysis of, uh, I'll show you the regression. Um, I took all of these cars and looked at their uh, zero to 60, regressed a bunch of different uh, variables um, of the cars against their actual zero to 60 time to give me this equation, uh, which I then used to figure out what the zero to 60 time would be for a car with this power to weight ratio uh, and weight and for the 30 by two uh, battery, uh, it would be about eight seconds zero to 60. Uh, so that's that's where I am. That's uh, what I've got for the battery right now. I think it uh, packages pretty well with, with the chassis and with the suspension I'm thinking of putting on this car. Um, and once I get my uh, model up to a better point, I'll uh, put it up on GitHub so anyone else who's designing an electric car and wants to do the calculations on what kind of battery pack they should use can, uh, can use my model. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, uh, leave them on the YouTube page or uh, on my website, which is willmartin.com. Thanks.